Hello everyone. So I'm here today and I was attempting to address the birthday invitations to send out for my kids birthday party. But after I wrote a couple and didn't like the way it looked, I turned to my silhouette cameo. I've never used the sketch pens on here, just uh, used it basic cutting. And so I didn't have any sketch pens, didn't want to go buy any because they're expensive. And so I played around a little bit and this is what I came up with. A modified version of the sketch pen. And this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your Sharpie. I'm using the Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker Sharpie. This comes in a 12 pack for nine or $10 at Staples that I had on hand. And um, this is what the Sharpie looks like. You're also going to need some duct tape or electrical tape. I'm sure painter's tape would work as well. And you're going to need your Cameo, obviously, your envelope or paper that you're going to be printing on, and then your cutting mat. And this is what I did. I got my Sharpie. I got one piece of duct tape torn off. That's just to show you about how long it is. I tore it in half lengthwise. I got it and I started wrapping it around here and I wrapped it around about two or three times. Check the sizing. I had to add a couple of layers and once it was pretty um, tight, snug fitting just like the blade normally is, I went ahead and locked it down, loaded my cutting mat and I already had my design done here. So here I am in my silhouette studio. Um, for my font that I'm using on this particular envelope, it's called Bernardo Moda Bold. And one important thing to remember is to change your character spacing to 105 and then change your line spacing to 115. That way you make sure that the letters look good, they're not running together or anything. So um, once I got that all designed, I went ahead went to my cut, go to advanced, you're going to do the line color, I'm, my line color is currently black, and I just set it on copy paper, and then you're going to scroll down here, and this is typically where your blade is, however you're going to um, click on sketch pen, and then you leave everything else the same, and then you go ahead and scroll down and you send it to your Cameo. I would recommend um, the first time you do it if you only have a few envelopes or a limited amount, uh, just try it on a piece of regular copy paper to make sure that your font's gonna be okay because not all fonts will work. So here we have it. I will mention I am, I am using the Cricut cutting mat. I do prefer the Cricut cutting mat just because it stays sticky a lot longer. And um, I did put it against my Cameo mat and so those little marks over there to your left are just my line markings to where it lines up so that I can make sure it aligns on the software. And then in the meantime, I'll go ahead and show you the cards or um, envelopes that I have done. I think they look awesome and so uniform. And I obviously cut these with uh, just vinyl and made them into stickers because my daughter had requested them. And um, there is also a lot of good resources on Pinterest or if you Google um, sketch fonts for Cameo that will come up with a lot of free sketch fonts that will work. I downloaded quite a few on dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And then I just tried them all out to see which ones I liked. There are some really pretty scripting um, fonts that I liked, but this one just happened to be perfect for what we were needing for these birthday invitations. And it's almost finished up. And then I will show you the after product. It's all done. 
So I hope this helps you out. <laughs>